this next location for where's transient parking is on the bucket list of many pilots and it was one of two things i definitely wanted to do after getting my ppl and it was because i saw an image of this exact approach on instagram and wanted to know where that was and after that i knew i had to be there now i typically start these videos a lot closer to the runway but with how scenic and almost surreal this approach is i couldn't help but to share it with you guys. So I'll be quiet and I'll let you guys enjoy this approach. So stick around because after we land, I'll share some helpful information to help you get into Sedona Airport. All right, now that we landed, let's get down to some business. So we landed 03 because that's the preferred runway in calm winds for landing. And it's because the runway does have a slope. But keep in mind that 21 is the preferred runway for departures. So always listen for that traffic and make sure you report your position. Now the runway you land obviously depends on the winds. And Sedona is notorious for having strong gusts, sometimes direct crosswinds. So always check the weather and know your alternates. Two of the more notable alternates are Cottonwood and Prescott. The first thing we did was visit the restaurant because we were starving and it's one of the fanciest chili dogs I've ever had. Winds aren't the only thing you have to worry about. The elevation at Sedona is 4,831 feet. So what does that mean? Yep, density altitude. We decided to come during the winter, which is perfect, but if you're gonna come in the summer, make sure to always factor that in. There are air tours that fly out of Sedona, which include helicopters, so make sure you keep an eye out. don't usually call out the FBOs, but Red Rock Aviation was just amazing. They really went above and beyond. As soon as we landed, they came out, met us on the ramp, gave us a quick tour of the airport and the facilities. So we really appreciate them, especially since this was our first time. Sedona Airport only has FBO parking, but we found their rates to be really good. Their full service fuel was cheaper than my home airport self-serve. And parking spots do come with tie down chains.
All right, time for our checklist. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. It really helps a little channel like us. If you don't wanna miss our next video, please subscribe. And if you have any questions about this airport that we didn't cover or the FBO or the restaurant, please leave a comment. Checklist complete. And if the last five minutes didn't convince you to visit Sedona, maybe this sunset will. <laughs>